expected. Uh, Fairly lesser than expected set of numbers, if I'm correct. So in terms of the Q2 performance, revenue is up by about 9.2% at 1,158.3 crore rupees. EBITDA is up by 10% on a bottom line level. That is, uh, if you look at profits, they're up by 22%. Margins uh, at about 17.1%. So this is slightly lower than what the street was expecting. And no wonder then that the stock was actually down by almost 6.1%. We, in fact, uh, are having with us the Chief Financial Officer of Amara Raja Batteries, S.V. Raghavendran, and I also have with me my colleague Sonia, who will take us through that interview. Sonia, over to you. All right, Kritika, thanks so much for that. Uh, Mr. Raghavendran, thanks for joining us. I would like to start off by asking you, what is the segment-wise volume growth that you've seen in the auto, uh, you know, the four-wheeler and the two-wheeler segment? Uh, we've had a good uh, double-digit growth in both the uh, four-wheeler as well as two-wheeler. Okay, and going ahead, uh, given and, uh, that... Yeah. Especially in the aftermarket, the growth has been quite significant. Okay. Uh, going ahead, given that, you know, you have said that the industrial battery segment has registered a very moderate volume growth, uh, what kind of growth do you expect to see in the second half of the year? Uh, with the new regulations from TRI, T -R -A -I, uh, we expect that there could be an increase in the telecom towers mm -hmm. so that the call drops can be addressed. So that could really help us in uh, uh, increasing the volumes of industrial batteries, especially telecom batteries. So we expect that uh, it should be a, a fair amount of growth in the second half. Can you quantify that for us? We don't know exactly what is the UPS and telecom segment growth this quarter. So what has the volume growth been and what will it look like in the second half of the year? The telecom growth, uh, we have had about 10% uh, uh, over last year. Okay. And on uh, the UPS side, it was uh, uh, very moderate growth of about 5%. Uh, 5% in the UPS battery? Yeah, in this quarter, yes. Okay. So, um, where are you facing pressure? Because, you know, your revenue growth of 9.2% is much lower than what you've seen in the, uh, in the past quarters. Which is the pocket where you're seeing the most amount of pressure now? No, one is uh, you should look at uh, the revenue uh, in, in in conjunction with the raw material prices. Mm. So when the raw material lead prices uh, come down, uh, this has to be passed on to the uh, OEM customers. Mm. So therefore, the top line also will come down. However, uh, the realizations being better, this will be, the EBITDA and the other margins will be better, will be improved. But it will have an impact on the top line. Okay. Uh, you know, we have seen not just you, but your peers like Excite as well, seeing pressure in uh, some of the segments like industrial batteries. Uh, do you, given that you have new capacity in hand, do you think the industrial segment can perhaps grow in double digits in the second half of the year, or is that at all ask? There are two parts to it. One is the telecom, the large VRLA part, mm -hmm. uh, which we are hopeful of growing in double digits. Mm -hmm. And the second one is the UPS. UPS is where the, uh, the pressure is coming from, uh, which a uh, lot of you know, imports are also uh, competing with the domestic products, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of uh, price pressures also there. So this is the area where uh, we are finding some pressure. Okay. Just one more question. You know, the street was very enthused last quarter when you saw margins of 18% plus, and this quarter the margins have fallen to 17-odd percent. Uh, for the second half of the year, what are your targeted margins? Where do you think Amaraja could be by the end of FY16? Uh, see, as I've been maintaining in the last quarter and prior to last quarter also, that uh, we will always aim to maintain the existing margins. They can be a, a range of 0.5% plus or minus. Mm. Uh, when the new capacities are coming in on, on stream, there can be certain undercapacity utilizations and fixed costs will, have, will not be absorbed completely. But over a period of time, when the costs are getting completely absorbed, this will get evened out. So I have been uh, maintaining that we will always try to maintain the margins in a range of plus or minus 50, uh, 5%, around 17%. Around 17%. All yeah. right, uh, Mr. Agavendra, we leave it at that.